Continuing with our tutorial for 4.2 number 13, um, you can see that I checked this and I got it correct, but let me show you why this was the one. Um, there was a slight technical malfunction or I would have done this with you. Um, what we want is we want a graph that has the correct points, but what we did, here let me move this out of the way, for part B was we found the equation of a line that went through the first point, negative 2, negative 2, see right there in the list, and 2, 5. So I want a graph that has the correct points, but also goes through the first point, negative 2, negative 2, and the last point, 2, 5. So this line for sure goes through both of those. So once I saw that, I maximized it to see it, obviously. Then I checked it and checked my answer, and I got it right. All right, now we're supposed to find the least squares regression line. So let me open up Excel. Oopsie. And there's my work from before. That's fine. And I'm going to go to a fresh sheet, I think. And I'm going to type in my data. I'll pause it. You don't have to watch me type. All righty, let's see now. So I've got my data in. Let's see, what do we do? We highlight the data. So let me highlight it. Oh, actually, I don't think we need to highlight. But that's okay. It's not going to hurt us. Data analysis. Let's go to regression. Say OK. And we got an input. Yep, so we didn't need to highlight. Don't forget the Y comes first. So highlight your Y. Now go over here and click and highlight your X's. And let's see. Does my data have labels? Yes, it does. My top row is labeled, so I better check that. For output range, make sure you click. See, if I go click right now, it's going to change that input Y range, which is not what I want. So make sure you click right in here in that white region, that menu region, and then go click on D1. Or you could just go in here and type it. That's fine. We don't need, I think, all these residuals. Well, if you want, let's click residuals just to see it. And let's say OK. Mm -hmm. We wait. It's going to take it a second. There it is. Awesome. Okay, so there it is. There's the equation of the line. It's y equals 1.7x plus 1.4. Don't forget that the slope is the one that goes with the x. See how they're connected? And the y-intercept is the one that goes with the y and is called intercept, amazingly enough. So it's y equals 1.7x plus 1.4. Let's go back. 1.7x plus 1.4. There it is, letter C. Enter. Enter. Great, we did it. All right, now which one's the graph of this? Well, you don't need to go graph it in Excel to figure it out. I mean, I can tell you right now that this one, there's no way. I mean, for starters, the points are all wrong. And even if they were right, a regression line doesn't have all the points below it. The whole point about a regression line is that it does a good job of matching them. This one's no good either. I mean, you can see that it's kind of tilted over. It's not matching the path of the points. This one's pretty good, and this one's pretty good. So it's a question of which one's the actual points from the graph. So let's look at this one for a second. All right, so I've got negative 2, negative 2, but I don't have negative 1 up 0. I've got 0 down negative 1, which is not right, right? Negative 1 is your x. So you go to the left 1 down 0, means you're supposed to be over here, so this isn't good. Close that one. What about this one? There we go. Over negative 1, up 0. Over 0, up 1. And you can see it's kind of coming close to all the points, kind of averaging them out, if you will. That's what the least squares regression line does. So let me cl click on this one. Yay! Good. All right. Now we're supposed to compute the sum of the squared residuals for this portion. This is actually going to take longer than a minute, so I'm going to wait and put this in part three because this is the part I really wanted to show you. This is not easy to figure out on your own. So hold off, and I'll see you next time.